welcome back to my channel. This is Battelle from Battelle's Kitchen and today I am super excited to be back with a new oat recipe for you guys and this time we're going to be switching things around. If you're tired of your regular overnight oats or you're tired of your regular morning porridge, I've got you covered. Today we're going to be making a really indulging and so delicious and easy to prepare morning baked oats that are really loaded with fiber and protein and so many good things for you and it is absolutely delicious and the whole family is going to devour it. My family is actually obsessed. All the measurements for this recipe are going to be in the description box below or on my website batelskitchen.com. Okay guys, let's get started. We're going to begin by arranging all our ingredients and we're ready to start with our spotted bananas. If you have really ripe bananas, this recipe is so perfect for these baked oats. So we're just going to peel our bananas and we're going to mash them with a fork or a potato masher. We're going to try to mash them as smooth as possible and set them to the side. We're going to use a big bowl just so that everything can fit into one bowl and save some dishes. We're going to add our old-fashioned oats and to that we're going to add some ground flax seeds which I like to keep in the freezer for freshness. We're also going to add some baking powder and also we're going to add some cinnamon or nutmeg or both just to get a really nice and rich flavor. We're going to add some coconut oil or you can use a different oil or you can skip it all together if you want to and we're going to add our plant milk which is soy milk but you can use whichever one you prefer for our fats we're going to add some peanut butter with a combination of tahini you can use only tahini if you want to for a halva flavor or only peanut butter or the combination of the two we're going to add some vanilla and our chocolate chips as well we're going to save some for garnishing for later and all we have to do is just mix it up We're going to prepare a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I'm using 9 by 13. You can use different sizes and you're going to get different types of heights of the baked oats. Our oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. We're just going to flatten everything with a spatula and we can garnish it again with some chocolate chips or if you want you can also add some walnuts as well. We're going to pop it in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes until it is set and then we're going to take it out. At this point all we have to do is just be really really patient and wait for it to cool off just a bit before we cut it into portions. If you don't mind the size and the shape of it you can really scoop it with a spoon and serve it rustically. It would also be delicious but I like to let it sit for about 15 minutes before I cut it with a sharp knife into big portions. For my kids, I like to cut it into a little bit smaller pieces and for my husband and I, for more of like a square type of shape. Again, it doesn't really matter. And these are also so perfect for meal prep. So now that we have everything cut and ready to go, we can transfer it to a plate. So we're gonna take a nice big piece. I like the corner because it has a little bit of more crunchy edges. We're going to add some peanut butter, which is very optional, obviously. And to that, I like to add some maple syrup as well, because I did not use any sweetener besides the natural flavors of the banana and the natural chocolate chips. So you can add some sweetness if you feel like you need to. And here you have it, a really, really indulging and so delicious high in fiber and protein breakfast bite. I hope you're gonna give this recipe a try. It is so indulging, it is so versatile. Your family is going to love it and even you are going to love it when you want something so filling and different as opposed to the regular oats. Thanks for watching. That's it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're gonna give these baked oats a try. If you did, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And if you need some more help with eating more plant-based, check out my cookbook, Eggless Possibilities. We can find so many meals that the whole family can enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.